What does MRI stand for in medical terminology? The options are Magnetic Radiology Imaging Medical Resolution Indicator Magnetic Resonance Imaging or Microscopic Radiographic Interpretation The correct answer is C that is Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI uses magnetic fields and radio waves to generate detailed images of the internal structure of the body. Right. So, question number two. What is the full form of CT scan? Your options are computerized tomography, centralized testing, cranial transposition or cellular technology. The correct answer is computerized tomography. CT scan or computed tomography combines X-ray and computer technology to produce cross-sectional images of the body. Question number 3. In medical terminology, what does ECG stand for? Your options are electrocardiogram, external cardiac graph, electronic cardiovascular gauge or echocardiographic. The correct answer is A that is electrocardiogram. ECG records the electrical activity of the heart over a period of time. Let's move on to the question number 4. What is the full form of AIDS? AIDS. Your options are Autoimmune Immunodeficiency Syndrome, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, Advanced Infection and Disease Syndrome, or Antigen Inhibition Detection System. The correct answer is B that is Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. AIDS is a condition caused by the Human Immunodeficiency Virus HIV that damages the immune system of human body. Question number 5. Friends, you are attending the 50 most repeated, most important medical terminologies. And this test is based on 25 questions. So, check your level of knowledge in medical field attending this test completely. This quiz will help you to know your knowledge as well as it will give you more confidence to attend upcoming exams. And friends, if you like this video, then please do like and subscribe our channel. And do not forget to comment your score at the end of this video. Let's continue. Question number 5th. What is the full form of DNA? Your options are Deoxyribonucleic Acid dual nucleotide assembly, dynamic nucleic arrangement or diagonal nucleotide amalgam. The correct answer is A that is deoxyribonucleic acid. The DNA is a molecule that carries genetic instruction for the development functioning, growth and reproduction of all known living organism. So, question number 6. In medical terms, what does COPD stand for? Your options are Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease Cardiovascular Oxygen Deprivation Centralized Oxygen Processing Disorder or Chronic Oxygenation and Pulmonary Disorder The correct answer is A that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. COPD is a lung disease characterized by chronic bronchitis and emphysema and emphysema. Let's move on to the question number 7. 
What does laser L A S E R stand for in medical applications? The options are light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, laser assisted surgical excision and removal, lens adjustment system for enhanced radiography or low intensity amplified spectrum emission radiation. The correct answer is A that is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Laser L A S E R is a technology is used in various medical precision and minimally invasive interventions. Question number 8. What is the full form of PET scan? Your options are Positron Emission Tomography. Personalized endocrine testing, peripheral electromagnetic transmission, or photo enhanced tomographic imaging. The correct answer is positron emission tomography. PET scan detects gamma rays emitted by a positron emitting radio nuclide providing functional images of the body question number eight in medical terminology what does eeg stand for the options are electronic eye gauge electroencephalogram endoscopic esophageal graph or enzymatic electromagnetic gradient The correct answer is B, that is electroencephalogram. phallogram. EEG measures electrical activity in the brain, helping diagnose conditions such as epilepsy and other neurological disorder. Question number 10. What does the abbreviation CDC stand for in the medical field? Your options are Centralized Disease Control, Clinical Diagnostic Criteria, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or Cellular Dysfunction Counter. The correct answer is C that is Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. CDC is a National Public Health Institute in the United States that works to protect public health safety through the control and prevention of diseases. So question number 11. What is the full form of ICU in neonatal care? Your options are infantile care unit, intensive care unit, incubation and caring unit or immunization coordination unit. The correct answer is C that is incubation and caring unit. In neonatal care, ICU often refers to the incubation and caring unit where premature or ill newborns receives specialized care. Question number 12. What does the abbreviation PPE stand for in healthcare? The options are personal protective equipment patient privacy enhancement, pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical processing efficiency or preventive pathogen eradication. The correct answer is personal protective equipment. PPE includes garments and devices worn to protect healthcare workers from Exposure to infectious materials. Question number 13. What is the full form of CPR in emergency medicine? Your options are cardiopulmonary resuscitation, critical patient recovery, 
कार्डियक परफ्यूजन रेगुलेशन और सेल्यूलर न्यूमोनिक रिस्पॉन्स The correct answer is A that is cardio pulmonary resuscitation CPR is a life saving technique used in emergencies to maintain blood circulation and oxygenation when the heart and breathing have stopped Question number 14 In medical terms what does IBS stand for Your options are inflammatory bowel syndrome irritable bladder syndrome integrated brain system or intestinal bacterial suppression the correct answer is a that is inflammatory bowel syndrome ibs is a gastrointestinal disorder characterized by abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits Question number fifteen: What does the term LASIK stand for in ophthalmology? Your options are: Laser Assisted Surgical Incision and Keratotomy, Light Amplification by Stimulated Iris Kinetics, Laser Assisted Intraocular Keratoplasty, or Laser Assisted in Situ. keratomilis the correct answer is d that is laser assisted in situ keratomilis lasik lasik is a surgical procedure that reshapes the cornea to correct vision problems question number 16 what is the full form of ent in medical specialties your options are endocrine and neurological therapy ear nose and throat epidemiology and nutrition testing or environment no transmission the correct answer is ear nose and throat ENT specialists focus on the diagnosis and treatment of conditions related to the ear, nose and throat. Question number 17. What does the abbreviation HPV stand for in the context of infectious diseases? Your options are human papillomavirus, hepatic virology profile, hyperventilation and pneumonia or hematologic pathogen vector the correct answer is a that is human papilloma virus hpv is a group of viruses that can infect the genital area as well as the mouth and throat so question number 18 what is the full form of acl in orthopedics Your options are cruciate ligament, arthritic cartilage lesion, articular compression limit, or axial collateral lumen. The correct answer is A. That is anterior cruciate ligament. The ACL is a ligament in the knee that provides stability. Question number nineteen. In obstetrics, what does the term VBAC stand for? Your options are vaginal birth after cesarean, ventricular biopsy and assessment center, valvular biomechanics and anatomy clinic, or vacuum assisted birth and cervical assessment. The correct answer is A. That is vaginal birth after cesarean. The VBAC refers to the option of having a vaginal delivery after a previous cesarean section. Question number twenty. What is the full form of PSA in urology? 
Your options are prostate specific antigen, pelvic sonography assessment, penile surgical advancement or prenatal screening analysis. The correct answer is prostate specific antigen. PSA is a protein produced by the prostate gland and its levels can be measured for the detection of prostate related issues. Question number 21. What does the term CBC stand for in hematology? Your options are comp comprehensive blood count, cellular biochemical composition, coagulation and blood chemistry or circulatory bio biomarker calibration. The correct answer is A that is comprehensive blood count. CBC provides information about the different types of cells in the blood including red blood cells, RBCs, white blood cells, WBCs and platelets. Question number 22. In pharmacy, what does OTC stand for? Your options are over the counter, optimal treatment course, outpatient therapy center or organic treatment category. The correct answer is over the counter. OTC medications are available without a prescription and can be purchased directly by consumers. Question number 23. What is the full form of NST EMI in cardiology? Your options are non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, narrowed septal transmural enzyme index, neurological stimulation for enhanced microcardial integration or non-surgical transcatheter endovascular myocardial intervention. The correct answer is A that is non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. NSTE MI is a type of heart attack where there is no persistent ST segment elevation on an electrocardiogram. Question number 24. In gastroenterology, what does GERD stand for? The options are esophageal reflux disease, gastric enzyme regulation disorder, gastrointestinal endoscopic retrieval, gastric emptying rate determination. The correct answer is gastroesophageal reflex disease. GERD is a chronic condition where stomach acid regularly flows back into the esophagus. Question number 25th. What does the term UTI stand for in urology? The options are urinary tract infection, urological tubular inflammation, urethral tissue impairment or urinary transport integration. The correct answer is urinary tract infection. UTI is an infection in any part of the urinary system including the kidneys, bladder and urethra. So friends, now the time is to comment your score out of 25. Let's see what's the score. And if you found this video helpful, then please do like, subscribe and share this video to your friends as well. So thank you so much for watching. See you with the next part of this video. Take care.